Well, hello, YouTube. Hi, this is Etta with Divine Healings, and I know it's been a minute since I um, it's been a minute since I've been on uh, YouTube. Uh, so I was here in the park today, and I said, "Well, let me make a video and just to show my face and uh, let you know that I'm still here." And uh, I just want to just talk about a few things today. Um, about distractions that come in your life, especially when you're trying to move forward and uh, when you're trying to get close to achieving your goal or close to being where uh, where God wants you to be. And um, that's me lately. i just really been working on myself, uh, doing a lot of meditations, uh, uh, working towards my goals. And I found that when you do that, you can kind of come across a lot of distractions to try to get you off track from uh, what you're trying to do and that's from people places things just anything to try to get you off track and in my case is people um, some relationships that I had encountered um, uh, some months ago and um, I found out that those relationships did not benefit me so I had to let go of them and, uh, you know, but sometimes people still try to find ways to get into, you know, try to, to try to get back into your life, to try to constantly, you know, think that they have changed, but yet and still they have not changed and still trying to get you off track because it's in, in, in another thing it's it's like this too. I, um, not to get off track, but yet and still, the, um, Spirit send you messages to let you know um, when you need to change your situation or distract somebody out your life. Lately, I've been seeing the Hulk quite often, quite often. And it's like every time when I come out to the park, you know, they come from out of nowhere. They just fly. Like yesterday, I was out in the park walking and I had one to fly straight towards me. Not, you know, he was up in the air and he just like flew over my head. And then he came back and circled and circle and circle three times and i was like okay what are you trying to tell me now now like i said i've been seeing the hulk quite often lately and this time it just really caught my attention when he flew over my head and circled three times so you know when you see the hulk most of the time it's telling you to uh see the bigger picture of a situation um you know observe from a from a larger view and see, that's my thing. I um, I've been had to just kind of step back and see the bigger picture of this person, and 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 once I did that, that let me know that this person don't mean me no good in my life. So, um, uh, uh, spirit is always sending us some type of messages to let us know that either we need to, like I said, get rid of some people because when you're trying to elevate and move forward, because I've been trying to, I'm, I'm working on getting my, getting starting my business because see, I know I'm a healer. I'm a healer. And I've just, you know, had some things uh, to come up in my life that's been kind of holding me back. But yet and still, I'm a healer. I've been reading uh, like the Millionaire Messenger. I don't know if any of you all know about this. His name is Brandon uh, Burchard. I think that's his name. Yeah, this guy has a tremendous story of how he started his business. He's a coach, and he has a tremendous story how he, um, how he became a coach and how he grew his businesses just by telling his story. And this, and and he, and he, I'm talking about he is so successful. If you look at look his name up on YouTube. He is so very successful and he's doing and, and he became that way just by doing what he just by telling his story, you know. So, you know, we all have a story to tell and we've all been through things in our lives. So the thing is, like I said, we have to eliminate those distractions because those distractions will keep us from moving forward in our life. You know, they will keep you down. So that's what I just wanted to, because I've, I've encountered that, you know, and like I said, it's been, it's been a person and then sometimes things, you know, 
But we just have to be aware. And then we have to, just like me, I had to just sit back. Why am I seeing this hawk? Why am I seeing hawks all the time? But the hawk was, was, was bringing me a message. He was bringing me a Look at the bigger picture. You know, uh, and then the hawk also means patience. Sometimes we have to just sit back. You know, I looked at one today and I forgot to tell you this morning, I ran into two more when I got ready to get in my truck. One was up in the top, you know, something just told me to look up. I looked up in the top of the tree. It was a hawk up in the top of the tree on a limb. And I was like, okay, spirit. Okay, I, I think I'm getting this picture now. Yeah, I'm, I'm understanding what you're telling me. And then when I pulled off and then uh, went went on to another place, I went to the library this morning. One flew straight across my, my windshield as I was driving. It landed in a tree. Now, this time I had to stop and get out. And I had to look at him and I, I spoke to this hawk. I said, spirit, because I know, you know, a hawk is, 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 is a spirit animal. And I was like, okay, I get you. And I said, you are beautiful. And I was like, what else is it that I need to know? Because you've been coming into my life a whole lot lately, you know. And I drew, and I meditated last night also. And the hawk came, came down, descended down, and picked me up with his talons. And we flew together. We flew right beside each other. So the hawk is really, and, um, and, and now I know that's my totem animal. So I got to be like the hawk, you know, I got to take on that hawk spirit. So um, it's just so profound. And I just wanted to uh, share that with you all because the meaning of a hawk is awesome. It really is. You know, that hawk spirit is an awesome spirit. So um, it's, it's, it's so profound. So I just wanted to share that with you all um, because... I just, I just, you know, it's just been so profound. I've just been seeing them so much lately. And with what's going on in my life, Spirit is speaking to me. So, um, like I said, I just wanted to share that. And uh, like I said, you know, reading and see, lately I've been reading a lot, you know, because like I said, I'm trying to get my business up and running. You know, I'm a healer. I'm a Reiki master. I, um, I'm an angel card reader. You know, I have all those certificates. You know, and now I'm I'm going to um, I'm going to the University of Metaphysics to get my degree in um, in holistic life coaching. So I'm I'm working on that as well. And sometimes, like I said, when you're trying to improve yourself and trying to move forward in life. People, places, uh, people and things will come and get you off track. So we have to be mindful of those things. And we have to be mindful when spirit is speaking to us too. So that's all I wanted to say is just, you know, be, be mindful of distractions. Okay. You all have a wonderfully blessed day and take care. Bye-bye.